I'm going to tell you a story. A story about love. And how I went from everything to nothing. Welcome back to the Fellas Studios Vlogs, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what actually happens at a podcast production company run by two YouTubers. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. I was set a challenge a few months ago by Freezy to get 100,000 subscribers on this channel by May. If you can get this to 100k, you can keep your job. And I failed. I did not hit that target, even though there are nearly 75,000 of you legends subscribed to the Fella Studios channel, I did not get to the magic 100K. However, however, Freezy is away this week. So I have been granted a stay of execution for a week at least, but he did say he wanted to have a sit down with me when he gets back. So make sure you subscribe to the channel to find out how that conversation is gonna go in the next episode of the vlog. Freezy's going to be back next week, and I might not be. Did you hear what Finn got up to on Friday? He had a bit of a, a, bit of a wild day. What, what did he do? He was subject from quite a lot of attention from Alfonso. Have you seen the clips? No, I've like, literally not seen this. Hey. Yeah. Is he cheating on Danoush? Was it? Oh, I suppose he is cheating on Danoush. So just for a little bit of context, Danoush is Ness's dog. Yeah, the dog that couldn't sit in the last episode of the vlog. Sit, sit. Oh, she doesn't do anything. And for quite a while, she and Finn have had their own bum sniffing love story going on. You're cheating on the news. It definitely wasn't Finn instigating it though. Okay. No, 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 absolutely not. No way, you're up. Up also doing bits and bobs. <laughs> did you did you see it? You saw it first hand. Alfonso was going back for round two, man. No! Came in for round one, he was like, a lot more. He's a baby, though. <laughs> he's crazy. Finn, <laughs> that's not cool. Dude, what's up with you? He's literally pretending to fall asleep now. Look at him. <laughs> 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 he's like, what, me? <laughs> I never knew that. <laughs> I was going to take him into the diary room and just get his perspective on it. What, Finn? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's going to be Dirty, dirty boy. Dirty boy. So, it was Friday, and I was coming into the studio with Freezy, my owner. We were recording an episode with Chip's dog, Alfonso, and I was pretty excited, but little did I know what I was actually in for. When we got there, I could tell Alfonso was ready to cause chaos. There's canine camaraderie, sure, but this was a whole different level. The boys started their recording and Alfonso and I were left to entertain ourselves. I went in for a sniff, just to like check out what was what, but then I was happy to lounge about and just enjoy the show. Alfonso had other ideas. Alfonso launched himself at me, showering me with affection and attempting to mount me, but I wasn't ready to be swept off my paws just yet. I was just thinking about Danoush, my sweetheart, and wondering what she would say about this. But Alfonso was persistent, like super persistent. I tried to explain that my heart belonged to another and no amount of puppy love was going to change that, but Alfonso didn't care. And while this was going on, I noticed Freezy and Chip just laughing at what was happening. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no! Finn, stop! Laughter filled the studio as I attempted to dodge Alfonso's advances. I don't know about you, Finn, but. Well, no. She's oh, so not really this, love, happy. this love story is gonna get. A part two and a conclusion. I think so. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, is that how you feel about her? Oh my god. What's he like? Oh, he's like that. I get all the girls. I know she's just one in a long line. In the end, I couldn't help wagging my tail at the comedy of it all. Alfonso has a heart as big as his bark, and the episode should do well on YouTube. I can't wait to tell Danush tomorrow. They're a happy couple are back together then, are they? Well, they're not on talking terms right now. Are they not? Yeah. Is that why they're sitting on separate sides of you? Correct. Danush just found out about the cheating. What did she have to say about it? Two sets. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's not impressed. She called him a dirty dog as well. Really? Um, I've kind of given her the lowdown, but she doesn't, yeah, she doesn't actually know how she feels right now. She just knows she's upset. Are you not happy, Danush? Yeah, fair enough. 
So, Finn told me about what happened. As you can tell by all the creases on my forehead, it's caused me a lot of stress. I thought we had a good thing going. Finn said Alfonso initiated, but I just don't know what to believe anymore. I'll have to watch the vlog to find out the truth. It's not like Ollie will frame it in a certain way to further dramatize the narrative. This is the end of the This is the end of the romance. Mm. Well, I don't know. Maybe. Dons, you upset? Oh, okay. She's upset. I think we're going to spend some time apart. Yeah, time apart. Bloody hell, Finn. You're not even looking at me. Where's Alfonso? It is. Job. Look at this fit. Like, do you like the outfit, dude? I do, I do like the outfit personally. It's cream. I thought, you know, the sun's out, so I need to match the tone. I need to get that, you know, colour palette on. Cream and white, though. Yeah, there's been a bit of speculation whether it goes together. Certain from like, <coughs> Proddy. You'll see a lot more of it now with the sun out. So, you're going uh, to get the jorts back. Of course. I, do, I'm, I should be wearing shorts today. It's too hot for, for trousers. I was disappointed color. that you weren't, to be fair. I'll come in shorts tomorrow then, so you can uh, check for me. Proddy. 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 Hello. <laughs> I heard you're not a big fan of Alfie's outfit today, by the way. I've worn the same thing before, like the cream trousers and the white t-shirt. Yeah. I just know it doesn't go because it's bothered me, myself. The colours just clash a bit. Hey, look, at least you're not saying that wearing your grandpa jumper. This, that's, low, that's a low blow. It's not for the, me. The grandpa jumper's quality. Where's the comment section, man? Yeah, no, the comment section, though, I just know a low them wear like fucking. Uh, is it 11 degrees, Gaz? Gaz from Geordie Shores clothing line. They just want them. Or they wear Chris MD merch. Hello. Hello, what's this? Natural. What's this DIY um, going on out here? Um, some can spray painting. We can't show you the final project, but coming soon. This is what to camera and you. creatively do with their spare time. Can you release something what show this is for or? Hip shed. Lewis gets all of our attention. Yeah, he really does at the moment. It. Yeah, he takes everything. All of our resource goes on pit side. Well, you know what Proddy calls him? What? Centre of attention midfield, Cam. <laughs> That's what, yeah, football banner, can't relate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there any more information I'm allowed to have? Really We're what's going, going on? on a very exciting shoot today for some pitch side merch. Their first match, first shoot, yeah, first cannabis collab. So yeah, it's going to be good. Very exciting. It'll be coming out in the next month. They're about so, yeah. to be fashion boys. Fashion boys. <laughs> Football boys, fashion boys, backside boys. They're everything. They're doing it all. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to be great. <laughs> We're about to change the fucking scene. And that's it. <laughs> Lou, are you excited yeah, for your big shoot? No, I'm nervous. Why? Yeah. I'm really the most photogenic person in the world. You, you love the fucking camera. Not photographs. <laughs> Do you know what Biz said? What? She said it's about to change the game. Can you confirm? This is gonna change the game? Yeah. It already has. It already has. Look at you two. Yeah. Just sort out the tactics. We're getting the game plan set. It's a very tricky sort of game we play. Yeah, what's We're the plan? What's the tactics? Tell me. a little Saliba Gabriel type beat. I know you all know very well what that is. So, you know, just a little two at the back. One sweeps back, one sweeps into midfield. It's pretty simple stuff, but he's a big mind for it. Who do you guys think is the best player here today? Oh, mate. Jack's rocked up with a full kit. Yeah, so yeah he does. He, he looks he, like a baller, he, I gotta he say. He does look like he's just come out of like a fucking National League game. So <laughs> I've heard you're quite a baller. Nah, I don't know who you've heard that from. Yeah. Rumours are going round. Yeah. They we'll said you've we'll come dressed like you've just finished like a National League game. Got his initials on the sweatshirt. That's when you know someone's good. Yeah. Initials on. What can I say? We'll see. We'll see today. But I'm hoping I'll play well. Otherwise, I'll be. <laughs> Be washed in the office. So we organised our first fellas football game, and there were a few people in the office that backed themselves as a bit of a baller. So obviously I had to set up a GoPro at the corner of the pitch, as well as giving one to Jack and Alfie to wear. And this is what we got.
Oh man, I tried to fucking go that way. And I fucking bottled that tackle there. Oh, fucking. <laughs> Great transition now. So if you like that and you want to see more of that type of content, let us know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and we will get back out on the pitch very soon. Okay, all hands for April. Kicking off with colours loaded. Uh, new international content. It's gone swimmingly. Sam was uh, employee of the month last month, but all the loaded team have chipped in massively. Backside launched. Yay! Not something I ever thought I'd have to say. Uh, but backside launched and is still hold the spot for how many days now? Three days now. Three days at the top of uh, UK top pods and top comedy podcasts. Yeah, we're not making the pass tomorrow. <laughs> Today is the day that we have print on demand. Well, it's actually not today, it's last week, but it's here. Yeah. It just means that we are fully now opened up to being able to really quickly sample graphic ideas, t-shirts, anything that's reactive on your shows. We did try to add a layer this week to All Hands, which was a little bit of a prank on Cow and Chip. And just to see how much they were listening to us really. We do question it sometimes. So we decided that we were going to add water buffalo into every single one of our presentations this week and see how many it took for them to realise that we had nothing to do with water buffaloes and that we were having them on. But I went first and what are we calling it? A bottle job? We also Sorry, I had something else to say there, but I'll move on. We also have finished 165, 165th floor country club and core concepts, which I think you've pretty much all seen. I completely choked. I had sweat dripping from my forehead as soon as I started talking and basically threw the whole thing away for the rest of the team and yeah, ruined the whole of the all hands joke for everybody. I don't know if it's embarrassing or funny. I'm gonna go with funny just for my own my own sanity. Looking at the um, views year on year, we're 160 million up on 2023. Uh, and we all know that I think last year by September, we hit the 1 billion mark. So we're tracking to beat that by quite a distance, which is great. Uh, everyone can go away and know that Q1 is in our eyes, a successful one and a good one. Yeah.